Cutting rope light is very easy, but remember one thing first, always unplug it. It is 120 volts, so if you cut it with the power on, nothing good is going to happen. Okay, so the first thing you need to do is find the cut marks. This is Endura brand rope light. There's cut marks every 30 inches. So if you go to the end of your rope light and go back 30 inches, or go to the beginning of your rope light and go up 30 inches, you will find the cut marks. So another thing to look for are the crossover wires. I have one here and I have one here. This one is the beginning of this 30 inch section, and this one is the end of this 30 inch section. So wherever you see back to back crossover wires, that is where you can cut your rope light. So starting right here, go approximately 30 inches. You should be able to actually physically see the cut marks. I have the crossover wires here and here, and the cut marks here. So cutting it, you can use a razor knife, a pocket knife. What we like to use here is tubing cutters. You see this blade right here. This is where somebody actually cut it when it was powered up. That's what it happens to your blade when, that, when you cut it with the power on. So to cut it, find your cut mark. I'm going to use the tubing cutters because I think this is the easiest and go ahead and line it up and just cut through it. It's really that easy. Uh, some tips is when I cut this, this is the end that I know I'm putting on my end cap. So I actually like to cheat a little bit and cut it a little bit closer to this end because this is the end that I will be installing a power cord. So I want to have a little bit more room here to install the power connector. Helpful hint.